hi guys welcome back to this channel on today's video i'm going to show you how to make a page like a file on CapCut. so first import a photo to CapCut and then copy it and then make one of the photo as overlay click on overlay and then it'll go like this and then next go to uh, make the overlay video smaller than the main okay i'm going to crop it so it become a square like this like the original one click on a check icon and then click on rotate until it go like this and then move it a little bit to the bottom right corner like this Okay, like that and then add a keyframe at the beginning of the video and then go to the end of the photo and then add another keyframe and in here move the photo all the way to the bottom like that and then go in between the keyframes and go to graphs and select the ease out one click on a check icon and then click on the uh, go back add another overlay so i'm going to add another overlay in here and add a green screen photo okay this one click on add and then after that go to mass and then choose split and rotate it like this rotate the masking like this okay and then after that click on a check icon and then rotate it like this and put it at the bottom okay i'm going to adjust the first one Okay, it'll go like this and then after that add another keyframe add a keyframe at the beginning of the green screen and add another keyframe at the end and then at the end do the same for like the first uh, overlay so move it all the way down oops like so and then after that Go in between the keyframe, go to graphs, and then choose the ease out to this one. Click on a check icon. Okay, after this, export the video in 70, 20, 720p and then frame rate 30. Export it. Start a new project with a photo in the main track and then add the previous video that you've exported as overlay. Okay, and then just make it smaller like this and then go to cut out, click on the comma key and then drag the green uh, drag it to the green screen color, adjust the intensity and also the shadow. And then after that, click on the check icon. And now here is the result for the page slide effect. Okay, you can just put it anywhere you want. You can also do this like this, cover the main track. And here is the final result. Okay guys, so that's all for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click on the thanks below. I'll see you all on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.